When they entered the secret room in their house, they didn't find anything. It looked like someone was moving things from there. After leaving the room, they met Sohi. It turns out that Sohi is still there because there has been no court decision deciding for her to leave. And Hyun Woo says that there will be a procedure and she has to go later. Hain entered Chairman Hong's room. She picked up the pen she had left behind earlier. She pressed a button on the pen, and there was her grandfather's voice. Her grandfather said that he was happy to be able to talk to Hain like that. He thanked Hain. There wasn't much her grandfather could do, he also didn't remember much and was only full of regret. He only cared about money of his whole life. He wasted most of his life doing that. He wants all his family to know that he regrets the life he lived. And he hopes that his family will live life differently. And have no regrets like him. <laughs> Hyun Wu gave Hain a jacket, so she wouldn't get cold. Hain felt very strange. It was like she was doing death training. She didn't know that funerals were so complicated. They dug a hole in the ground and placed a coffin. Eat soup in the tent and when they are finished they go home and Hain will be alone. Her three months have passed. And she could die tonight. And her family will mourn again if Hain dies. But Hain kept thinking she wanted to leave. The world is very beautiful and that is what makes Hain want to continue living. <laughs> Sohi and Unsao went to a place where Sohi hid Chairman Hong slash funds. Sohi found the money because she saw a video recording that Chairman Hong had made. A secret room behind the elevator door. Sohi said that she loved Unsao in her own way. With that money, Unsang will be safe. <music> Hyun Wu saw his father and father-in-law drinking together. When he wanted to join, suddenly he got a call from Germany. The German hospital has developed a new technique. So that patients like Hain can be cured. They will try the technique on Hain, but they can't guarantee anything. Hearing that, Hyun Wu was enthusiastic and told his father and in-laws about it. Hyun Wu said that they had a successful case. But when his in-laws wanted to tell Hain, Hyun Wu stopped him. They all gathered and didn't believe that Hain could be operated. And Byongja, her mother and also Seo Chiu cried happily. Her mother-in-law also congratulates Hain. Hain went into Hyun Wu's room and asked, Is Hyun Wu sure that the operation will be successful because of Hain's rare case? And Hyun Wu answered that he was sure even though there was actually a problem. During this operation, Hain will most likely lose long-term memory. She could lose all memory from before the operation. But that's the only chance if you want him to leave. His in-laws wanted Hyun Wu to keep it a secret. And Hyun Wu asked him not to worry because Hyun will leave. And Hyun thanked Hyun Wu. Hyun Wu saw Hyun outside alone and she cried. Hain said that she was fine, they were tears of joy. Hain seemed to wake up from a long nightmare. Hyun calmed Hain and hugged her. <laughs> In the morning, Hain took Hyun Wu for a walk. They went to the station and ordered two tickets. Hyun Wu took a photo of Hain and they also took a photo together. 
It turned out that it was their first trip apart from their honeymoon. And Hain invited him to go on lots of trips after Hain had surgery. As they sit down to rest, Hain says that she has a secret. There are three things that Hain kept secret from Hian Wu. And Hain will notify one for that day. That the MP3 that Hian Wu found was her. Hain lost it in the schoolyard before she went abroad. Hian Wu didn't believe that. An extraordinary thing happened to them. Hain realizes that maybe she is nothing to Hian Wu. When Hian Wu wanted to explain the truth, Hain stopped him. That Hain is not angry because she will be reborn. And she will think optimistically and will see good things. It was like fate, they met again and got married even though they are now divorced. Hain thought she wouldn't be part of Hian Wu's future. Then she showed the ring she was wearing on her finger. Hain will withdraw the divorce lawsuit. Hian Wu says Hain can't take it anymore. Even when Hain wakes up one day and hates him. Even if they had a big fight and were disgusted with Hian Wu. Even though Hain claims not to remember and made that promise. Hain can't back down and Hian Wu will stay by her side. Hain agreed and asked Hian Wu to be quiet. When Hian Wu hugs her, Hain likes it best when she just focuses on his heartbeat. At the gathering together, Su Chi will say that he wanted to stay at Hian Wu's parents' house for a while until he found a new house in Seoul. Because throughout his life, he always had help from his father and mother. So now, he wants to be independent. Then Hain also said that she would not go home. Because she will live in Hian Wu's apartment in Seoul. The apartment is nice because it is newly built and furnished. Her mother knows that Hain only wants to be alone with Hian Wu. And Hian Wu begged to be allowed to live together. Hain's father gave permission for their convenience. Her mother met Hain in her room. Deep in her heart, her mother felt guilty and regretful. Because for 20 years, they have always been fighting. So her mother felt awkward because she suddenly loved Hain so much. According to Hain, her mother was good enough. Hain says they have plenty of time. So just do it slowly. Once Hain returned from Germany, they slowly started to love each other. Finally, Hain and Hian Wu arrived at Hian Wu's apartment. When in front of the elevator, they met Hian Wu's neighbor. She said that Hian Wu was a bachelor on the 11th floor. Then Hain said that Hian Wu was not a bachelor because Hain was his wife. The neighbors were surprised because previously Hian Wu lived alone. Did they just get married? Knowing that his neighbors are happy. While in the apartment, Hain said that they were officially married. Because the neighbors will tell everyone in the building about them being married. The 11th floor bachelor married a beautiful woman. So they have to act like newlyweds. Hian Wu smiled and asked how. Hain said that usually newlyweds who fall in love will always touch each other. Touching their hands, feet or shoulders. Whatever it is, they are always together. And live their daily lives together. And when they experience difficulties again, they can bring out happy memories. That's why they have to collect as many happy memories as possible. Unsang talks to Hian Wu. 
He knows that Hain will have surgery in Germany. And Unsang was also happy about the news. Unsang likes him, so it's natural that he feels happy. He asked Hian Wu to look after her. And Unsang knows that the operation has side effects. Considering Hain's personality, she would have refused if she knew about it. Unsang also asked Hian Wu to keep it a secret, so he would keep quiet about the operation. Hain and Secretary Nall checked the market's preparations for Christmas. Then it snowed there, and Hain thought she was hallucinating because she saw the snow. But Secretary Nall also saw it so it was really snow. Secretary now checks inside because she thinks the snow is a practice. Then Hain saw Hian Wu coming. Hain asks how can it snow in autumn? And Hian Wu answered that Hain asked for snow earlier. Hain feels that things are getting better and all her hopes have come true. And she feels that her first love will come true. But according to Hian Wu, Snow is not for that. Hian Wu is curious about who the man is that makes Hain crave her. Hain didn't want to tell him because she was afraid Hian Wu would become arrogant. Then Hain said that the bus Hian Wu was number 372. Hian Wu asks how Hain knows. Hain answered that she followed Hian Wu's bus and crossed the Han River many times. And that man is Hian Wu. But Hian Wu didn't understand it and was too late to think. Which makes Hain annoyed. <laughs> Hain and Hian Wu bought a plane and headed to Germany. Hain takes the pills and Hian Wu asks if she's okay. And Hain asks Hian Wu not to worry about her. And it turns out Unsang also went to Germany. While in the taxi, Hain seemed nervous. Hian Wu holds her hand and asks what is Hain's third secret. Hain answered that the third was Yang Sok. Hian Wu had never seen the raccoon. Hain laughed, how could Hian Wu believe Hain's words? Hain has been cheating on Hian Wu for four years. Before entering the room, Hian Wu told Hain. Hian Wu said that Hain would most likely lose her memory after the operation. Hain will forget all the people and places Hain visited. Even so, this is Hain's only chance to leave. Hain said, that she would lose her memory if operated on and would die if not operated on. That means telling her to choose from the worst. Hain gets angry and leaves Hian Wu. Hian Wu chases her and says don't make a choice. Hian Wu asks Hain to leave 